slowly pondered her life decisions that led to coming to a place called Golem's Haven. And now we're fighting golems! Funny that. I just keep thinking back to that, like, travel brochure that talks about how nice this place is, but also that they do not hold themselves accountable for, uh, like, injury or death. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Oddly specific clauses on their, uh, advertising brochure. I mean, I'm guessing that not all of this stuff was evil. Till just but recently. some of it must have been. At the very least, I think some of this stuff would have come to life and kicked you out for being... interlopers. Like, the trees are evil because of the corruption of, uh, Crocious. Yeah. But the... the tile puzzles, the rock monsters, that stuff's here because of the pirate ninjas and Crocious. Because of their, uh, evil influence and the fact that there are intruders. Yeah. Can I shoot you with... You know, that makes sense, given that he's on a raised platform. I wasn't sure how else you were going to get to him. Because bombs will hit the platform. Darn roots getting in the way. That tree thought he'd be safe because you couldn't slam. Joke's on him, I got range attacks now. Ah. They do look very happy when you free them. They also refill your health bar. That's nice, okay. I take it back, they do help a little bit. Nice that you didn't trigger the other one until now. That's helpful. He also doesn't appear to be able to throw out roots this far, so I'm just gonna take a minute here. Take an E real quick. <laughs> Check my Twitter. <laughs> okay. Check the walkthrough. At least looking at the walkthrough. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's see. Ba bang, ba bang, alright. <laughs> Left and right open. Nice. What's over here? More evil trees on platforms. Well, at least you can shoot fire arrows at this one. I don't know if it does more damage, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, that's definitely true. arrows it takes. I should probably count one of these times. <laughs> See, I think there's a bad guy back there. Probably. <laughs> wow, you missed him with a bow. <laughs> Now with the slam attack. Oh, it's a one of them. Okay. For those four pillars that are in the uh, other room, I think. Yeah. Those are those both, are both facing down. That's good to know. Wonder how many more evil trees I need to fix up gotta be getting close because you had five in that one room yeah and then you killed one more or like restored one more after that do, 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 
I would think one more after this, maybe. If my count's right. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh. Oh, there they Lily are. Lily had released all the tree people. They were very grateful and talked very fast. Sorry. Grandpa tends to mumble when he's excited, and it's such a good story. And whoosh. Wonder if I hit the guy this time. Nope. Oh, good, thanks. Well, there were two. I must have hit one of the other ones. Must have. that's one of those that's random every time or if it's a set if you can skip to... that if you just knew, knew which what it ones was, yeah it's mm, a good question teleport pad must be getting toward the end of the teleport pad i would yeah i would say so <laughs> makes sense to me anyway the young knight walked by the age statues as the sound of water echoed throughout the room. Somehow she knew that Fairy Clover was near. And then she heard it. Boom! 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 Yikes! An ancient golem, kept awake by old magic, pounded its fists in anger. Ah, intruders must be destroyed. All right. Boom! Ow. Boom! Okay. All right. Boom! Lily shrugged off the initial blows, but then realized that she could even she could not withstand his flurry of rocky fists. Oh wait, is this just like King Dodongo? Yeah. Feed him Ow. a bomb. <laughs> oh, oh. He has laser vision. Beat him with bomb, shoot him with arrow. Oh, so it's like uh, King Dodongo and I forget the one that you have to shoot the eyeball. Uh, Goma. Yeah. Also, to anybody that's bothered by me comparing it to Zelda, I'm just going with what I know. I don't mean to. Yeah. I'm not trying to be like, ah, Zelda did it. This is actually really cool and I think it's awesome. I'm just like, oh hey, I've, I've seen a puzzle that somewhat resembles this. I mean, you know, I'm sure that somewhere is a big, you know, punches the ground monster with, like, disembodied hands. Probably. Like, I think we fought one of them in, uh, Kamika. Probably. Ouch. Stop it. I think, but I think there's a Ocarina of Time boss that's a big set of hands. Oh, probably. The Shadow Temple, maybe? I didn't play as much of that one. I didn't have an N64. I had an N64, but I didn't have a RAM expansion. Oh, yeah. How many more times? The old Zelda bosses always had like the rule of three, didn't they? Yeah. Unless there's something I could be doing to do more damage to this guy. Might not be optimizing our damage per cycle. Yeah. That's possible. 
He doesn't really stay down for very long. I don't know if he can get more than one arrow. Huh? Oh, you totally can. Yeah, laser vision. Nice. Aha. Take that, jerk. Very Clover. Light it up. Whoosh. Dandy dandy cutscene te teleportation. Yeah. Please, young knight, we require that no one interrupt us while we care for our sleeping king. I'm here to give you one of the ingredients for the cure. Fairy Clover, but how did you... She didn't just get knight... Didn't she just get knighted the other day? I thought recruits weren't even supposed to leave the castle. This fairy clover will serve as well. Good job, recruit. Having proven your bravery and skill, we ask that you assist the Knights of the Rose heading to the Boiling Caverns. This is where the next ingredient is found. Old Snapdragon. They mean need your help from a young yet formidable knight such as yourself. Good luck. I mean, yeah, they probably got totally, like, pasted like the last group. <laughs> That's it? Just a good job? They should be throwing her a party! With lots of cake. Sugar-free cake for us old folks! Oh man, I usually had those lines. Thank you, game. <laughs> but unfortunately, the disciples know they cannot celebrate just yet. Since the other knights haven't returned with the other ingredients, the disciples can't help but feel troubled. What a bunch of worry warts. Lily will find the other ingredients. They'll see. I don't know. The boiling cavern sounds like a dangerous place. It's very dangerous. In fact, you need to cross a perilous mire known as the Gasping Marshes just to get there. <sighs> like that! Exactly! The air there is so thick and foul that just breathing inside is difficult. Kinda like Grandpa's room. <laughs> Lily will find the Gasping Marshes by heading southeast from the castle. Right. Incidentally, my room is also to the southeast. <laughs> well, next time on Endless Mode, we're gonna make our preparations and try to cross the Gasping Mire. Also, upgrade our Your thingy bow. at the blacksmith. I think it was a bow, yeah. In fact, let's, let's go do that so I don't forget. I was gonna say, I could totally see us getting to the Boiling Marshes and going, What were we gonna do again? <laughs> Aw oh, man, we could have had better arrows. Hey, what's up? Hooray! The tri bow. The tri bow. Maybe it's just more arrows. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Wait. I am enjoying the bow upgrade. It's pretty great. I don't know how you made it shoot more arrows, <laughs> but I love it. Now that we've screen transitioned, do you have another upgrade? No? Nope. Okay. Well, next time on Endless Mode, we're gonna probably get into some shenanigans. I mean, that is sort of the name of the game, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. Catch you later.